biology is really chemistry and chemistry is really physics. So basically everything is physics. If everything is physics, how come that our DNA twists one way and not the other? The molecular structure of life on our planet has what's known as a handedness. It's that many organic molecules have an orientation. But just how come that this handedness came out this way and not that way? It might sound like that's a question we might never be able to answer. But in the past couple of months, scientists have actually made some progress. Let's have a look. We're used to writing molecules in forms of the atomic elements they contain, like H2O, two hydrogens, one oxygen. But all molecules are three-dimensional arrangements, and the interactions between the atoms give rise to specific angles between them. In the end, which angles the molecule has is, of course, all a question of quantum physics. The thing is now that for many molecules, there isn't just one energetically ideal three-dimensional arrangement, there are two. These two shapes are identical except for their handedness. The two shapes are mirror images to each other, like two hands, hence the name, though it's technically referred to as chirality. It means that you can't match them onto each other by any rotation in space. You'd have to do a reflection on an imaginary mirror. The weird thing is now that for what physics is concerned, these two handednesses should have the same probability of being created. So how did life on our planet came out to have only one handedness and not the other? It's an interesting question, not just because it's curious, but because if life evolved on other planets, it'd be good to know whether it'd be likely to have the same handedness. It'd also be good to know how this handedness came about for practical reasons, which is that if one synthesizes molecules at the laboratory, one might want to have only one handedness because the other one might have very different biological effects. The best example for the relevance of biological handedness is the tragic story of thalidomide. Thalidomide is a drug that came on the market in the 1950s and was sold under the brand name Contagan. It was recommended to pregnant women against morning sickness. An estimated 10 to 20,000 babies were later born with birth defects caused by the drug. It turned out that thalidomide really contained two different molecules with the same composition, but of the opposite handedness. One of them was later linked to the birth defects. Before we shed light on the mystery of organic chemistry, I have a recommendation that will shed some light onto your walls. And not just any light, but galactic lights. The Galaxy Lamps Projector will make your room a special place with a colorful display of stars and nebulae that I found to be both relaxing and inspiring. But not only that, it's also a smart device. Let's look at some of the features. First off, it's RGB colors, brightness, rotation speed, on-off timers, and many more are fully customizable. And no need to get out of bed. You can do it all from your phone. Better still, you can use voice commands with Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. And there's no need to worry about your electricity bill. The device is super energy efficient. The Galaxy Projector is a neat modern device with solid hardware and software and it's just what science lovers like me and maybe you too need to chill. If that sounds good, make sure to get our special offer by clicking on the link below to get 15% off. This question why biology has one orientation and not the other has been around since the middle of the 19th century and scientists have made some progress on it in that they've tracked down the origin of bigger molecules like DNA and RNA to that of smaller molecules and explained how one gave rise to another. But that still doesn't explain why at some point one-handedness became dominant in organic chemistry on young Earth. The dominant handedness, by the way, is usually called left handed, though I think this isn't a political statement, it's just a matter of terminology. There are two basic ways this handedness could have come about. One is pure chance, or maybe you could say chaos. At some point in the history of our planet, just coincidentally, a cluster of left handed molecules formed and it continued to flourish, eventually outcompeting all right handed molecules. It's kind of curious, though, that in this case, there aren't even any pockets left in which we have a few right handed molecules. 
It's like, you know, at some point in the past, most countries defaulted on driving on the right side of the road, except for a few pockets where they continue driving on the wrong side. The other possible explanation is that the handedness was caused by some environmental influence. We just don't know which. The key suspect for this has for a long time been the magnetic field of Earth. But there are some other factors that could have made a difference. You might wonder, for example, whether the rotation of Earth had something to do with it. Or maybe it's to do with an actual asymmetry we have in physics, which is that there is very little antimatter in the universe. There have been lots of theories. But, well, the research that has recently emerged, somewhat surprisingly, supports the idea that it was the magnetic field of Earth after all. This is surprising because earlier work had shown that the magnetic field is far too weak to have any effect. In recent work, researchers showed that if you take a magnetic material and sprinkle organic molecules of both chirality on it, then one-handedness is 50% more likely to stick. This is very curious because the molecules themselves aren't magnetic. The researchers say it's ultimately to do with the spin structure of the electrons in the shells. So it's all physics, you see. Their idea is that this preferential accumulation of one-handedness on some kinds of rocks would have made it much easier for complex molecules to be formed there. However, this leaves the question of what the magnetization of the rock has to do with the magnetic field of Earth. Because the magnetic field of Earth is very weak, and so is the natural magnetization of materials you find in nature. Well, another group has argued that the preferential attachment of some molecules feeds back into the magnetic material, making it more strongly magnetic. So basically, they say that some magnetic materials amplify the magnetic field of Earth, and that kickstarts the process. The way that I understand it is this. The magnetic field of Earth causes an initial magnetization. The preferential attachment amplifies that and that benefits one-handedness. Though I think that still doesn't explain why it's not one-handedness in one place and the other elsewhere. So I doubt that this settles the case. Personally, I think it's the rotation of Earth which causes ocean currents to turn one way and not another, which sorts out molecules of one-handedness more than the other. I made this up as I was working on this video. Please let me know if you want to submit it to science. If you become a member of our YouTube channel, you get to see our science news videos as soon as they're uploaded. And in the series tier, we also have a weekly summary. It's an easy way to support our channel and keep the videos coming. So go and have a look. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.